The world's largest pumpkin could be from the state of Iowa. At least that's what folks from the Pumpkin Fest in Anamosa are hoping for this year. CBS 2's Brittany Hibbs live there this morning looking into just what it takes to grow a 1,000 pound or more pumpkin. Brittany. Well, Tim, yeah, we're going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about all the things going on at Pumpkin Fest. A lot of stuff going on. A lot of people have been showing up here. They're so excited about this weekend. We have John and Cecilia Hatcher, who uh, John is the mayor, and this is his wife. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Cecilia, talk about Pumpkin Fest and, and what it means to Anamosa. Oh, Pumpkin Fest is just so much fun. Everybody gets so excited about it. It doesn't matter what the weather is, sweatshirt or uh, hot. Uh, there's so much going on. Everybody comes back that used to live here because they know their friends are going to be walking up and down the street and they can visit with them and they want to see who has the biggest pumpkin and it's so much fun. <laughs> and it's all starting tomorrow and I see a little boy over here who's shivering. We've got Kane Appleby. Good morning, Kane. Good morning. And you are royalty, Pumpkin Fest royalty. We've got the prince here this morning. Kane, talk about what you're going to be doing in the parade. I'm going to be doing in the parade is that I'm going to be riding in a carriage and I'm going to be doing the big rail races. The big wheel races, that'll be exciting. Yeah. Are you looking forward to seeing the huge pumpkins? Yeah. yeah. Do you think we can get the world record? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to say hi to your class? Yes. Go ahead, wave. Hi. <laughs> all right. Well, good luck, Kane. He's Prince. He's the royalty of Pumpkin Fest. It all kicks off tomorrow. Live in Anamosa, Brittany Hibbs, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Brittany. <laughs> well, will there be a record set of the pumpkin way off begins at 8 a.m. Saturday morning. That's tomorrow morning, followed by pumpkin carving at 9 o'clock. The parade at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And there is a whole list of other activities throughout the day and the weekend. Pumpkin royalty. I don't know about you, but he just made my morning. He did. <laughs> Good morning again to you. The world's largest pumpkin could be from the state of Iowa. That's what folks from Pumpkin Fest in Anamosa are hoping for this year. CBS 2's Brittany Hibbs, they're live in Anamosa this morning, digging into what it takes to grow a thousand pound pumpkin. Good morning, Brittany. Good morning, Tim. Well, I have never seen these pumpkins in person, but I've heard that they are huge. Like you said, a thousand pounds. I cannot even believe it. We're here in Anamosa for Pumpkin Fest. This morning we have Doug Edel. Doug, tell me about Pumpkin Fest. The history of it, this has been a, a long tradition, 21 years, I believe. How excited is the town? Oh, well, the town's very excited. Uh, yeah, 21 years, uh, the event keeps uh, going strong. Uh, started in 1989 with the first Ryan and no Ryan Norland more Memorial Way Off. Um, and uh, now we've got a whole community-wide event uh, with a parade and food and crafts and all kinds of uh, events for, for a whole day of fun. Lots of good stuff, and I hear you guys, you're trying to maybe hit that world record for the world's largest pumpkin. Talk about that. Oh, yeah. Well, every year we hope we, we bring in a world record pumpkin. Um, uh, there's uh, there's way off sites all across the country, so we're in competition with a lot of other growers around the country and even internationally, but uh, uh, some of the biggest pumpkins in the world come from right here in Iowa or in the Midwest. and. And this year we uh, we think we have a big one on the way. I'll, I'll let Greg talk a little bit about that yeah. more. Sure, yeah. We, Greg, here you've done some of these weigh-ins. You know how big these pumpkins are, and you've even grown them yourself. How do you explain how big these things are? Well, it takes uh, uh, the right genetics to start with, and that genetics is the Dills Atlantic Giant seed. It was developed by Howard Dill from Windsor, Nova Scotia. And all of the competitive growers use that seed. And then a lot of water, a lot of fertilizer, and a lot of luck. But uh, we're excited this year, like Doug mentioned. Uh, our goal has always been to bring a world record pumpkin to Anamosa. We're second in the world right now. We weighed a pumpkin of 1,662 pounds two years ago. Wow. And we think we've got a real good possibility of breaking not only that record, but possibly breaking the world record this year in Anamosa. And we're really excited about that. Yeah, I am too. I really hope you guys do it. All right, well, thanks, guys. Live in Anamosa, Brittany Hibbs, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Brittany. The pumpkin way off begins at 8 tomorrow morning, followed by a pumpkin carving exhibition at 9 a.m. The parade is set for 2 in the afternoon, along with many other activities throughout the entire day. Anamosa, this weekend is Pumpkin Fest. Here where they say they could have the world's largest pumpkin. That's on CBS 2 this morning.
To kick off the month of October, Pumpkin Fest 2009 starts tomorrow. It is a weekend of family fun and, of course, pumpkins, some of them huge. CBS 2's Brittany Hibbs live in Anamosa this morning to hear all about what's on tap and how big some of those pumpkins are. Good morning, Brittany. Good morning, Tim. That's right. These pumpkins are huge, over a thousand pounds. One of the guys who does the weigh-ins, Greg, good morning. How are you? I'm real good this morning. We've been talking about how competitive it is trying to get the world's largest pumpkin. Talk about what you've seen. You've been doing this weigh-in for a while. What's it like? Well, it's very competitive, and uh, I'll tell you, we've got some good growers in the Midwest. When we first started this, the majority of the large pumpkins were weighed in Canada, northern Maine, latitudes nor uh, farther north in the Midwest. And, and at one time we thought, well, maybe we're too far south to grow these pumpkins. But I'll tell you what, with the genetics and with the experience and the, and the growing expertise that we have here in the Midwest, uh, we've really, really raised the bar and we've got some really giant pumpkins here in the Midwest. We're really excited about that. And you have a lot of strict rules and regulations. Pumpkins, when they're going to be weighed in, they can't have any cracks or any, uh, any faults to them. That's correct. Uh, these pumpkins have to be completely sound. Uh, one of the problems when you grow these big pumpkins, they'll actually grow up to 50 pounds a day. And unfortunately, what happens when they grow that fast, some of them have a tendency to split. And once they split, uh, then they're done growing and, and we don't accept those in competition. So we check those pumpkins uh, when they come in to be weighed. They have to be clean and they have to be sound and they, they have to be uh, split free because, you know, it probably wouldn't be too hard to drop some uh, lead in the inside of those. Sure. Cheat. <laughs> we don't want any cheaters. No cheaters. We're trying to get to the world's largest pumpkin. And I'm coming up here. We're going to talk to Doug here at the 6 o'clock hour about all the vendors they have and all the exciting events they have going on. Live in Inamosa, Brittany Hibbs, CBS 2 News. All right. Thanks a lot, Brittany. And this year will be the 21st annual Pumpkin Fest in Anamosa. To kick off the month of October, Pumpkin Fest 2009 starts tomorrow. Yes, it is a weekend packed full of family fun and, of course, huge pumpkins. CBS 2's Brittany Hibbs live in Animosa this morning to tell us what's planned and how big those pumpkins get. Good morning again, Brittany. Good morning, Tim. Well, I wanted to know what it takes to grow a thousand pound pumpkin. We wanted to know why Animosa thinks this year they could possibly have the world record. And this morning we have Dave Sutherland here who is one of the growers. Dave, you've actually gone through quite an ordeal. We've got some photos here. Talk about what happened to uh, to your crop here this year. Well, there was there was some heavy rains on August 27th. Those flash flooding. Correct. And uh, at noon, um, of course, we had the day before that the, the rains were there. Uh, very heavy, and then, then on the 27th they were really heavy, and at, at 3 p.m., by 3 p.m., they were washed away. Oh, so. my gosh, and we've got this picture here that we're looking at. This was this was that day when, unfortunately, they were washed away. Talk about what goes into making one of these pumpkins. Um, it talks with, it, it's all about soil preparation in the fall after they pull these pumpkins out, but genetics is, is a big thing. Um, and then it's it's all uh, fertilize, natural fertilizer, fish and seaweed. Um, it's, it's kind of technique too. So. Sure, yeah, and we have a few more of these photos here. Just to show you, they actually have to take, uh, it looks sort of a crane to pick these pumpkins up. What is the world record right now? Uh, 1,689 pounds, so wow. we're hopeful that, that can be beat this year here yeah. in Animals. So. All right, well, good luck to, uh, to everyone here. It's going to be an exciting time at Pumpkin Fest. There you go. That's just how big these pumpkins are. It's hard to believe almost. You're going to have to see it to really get a grasp of how big and how much they weigh. Live in the Animosa, Brittany Hibbs, CBS 2 News. A lot to see there. Thanks, Brittany. And this year will be the 21st annual Pumpkin Fest in Anamosa. Looks like lots of fun. Good morning again right now, 639 on this Friday morning.